Hi guys, this is John here. Now continuing our lecture on propellers, in the previous lecture we saw that the propellers that are opposite to each other, they need to rotate in a particular direction. So these two, the angle of attack is this way. So they will rotate in a counterclockwise direction, these two motors, whereas these two motors, because of the angle of attack is in this direction, they will rotate in a clockwise direction. Now, why does that happen and what does it have to do with a simple helicopter that I'm showing you here? So let me keep this aside for a second and just walk you through this simple helicopter, right? So let us say that the helicopter propeller here is rotating in a counterclockwise direction. So just for your revision, this is clockwise. This is counterclockwise. So the propeller is going in a counterclockwise direction. So if I hold up this propeller in my hand and if I hold this propeller steady and if I am wanting to rotate this propeller in a counterclockwise direction, see what happens to my body. My body starts rotating in a clockwise direction. The body as in the frame of the helicopter starts rotating in a clockwise direction. This is called as torque and that is why you see that helicopters have a tail rotor which effectively if my propeller is going in a counterclockwise direction to prevent the helicopter from going in a clockwise direction, this rotor here pushes the air in this direction so that it's balancing the helicopter and your propeller is the only one which is rotating. What prevents a helicopter going round and round like this is the tail rotor. And that is why when you see in movies, when the tail rotor gets spoiled, then the helicopter keeps rotating and it crashes. This is called as torque. Similarly, when we have a drone here, and as we said that this particular motors here, we see that this particular motor needs to go counterclockwise, this one counterclockwise. So if I take a single motor here, you will see that if this one goes counterclockwise, it will cause the drone to move in a clockwise direction. Similarly, this one, if it is rotating in a clockwise direction like this, it will cause the drone to move in a counterclockwise direction. These two propellers cancel each other out. So this guy is trying to push the drone in a clockwise direction. This guy is trying to push the drone in a counterclockwise direction. So they balance each other out. But now the problem is both these guys, as they are balancing each other out, they will also cause lift. So let us say these two propellers, just these two propellers are rotating in their respective directions and they are trying to go up right? They are trying to go up. So what happens is, let us say this fellow here is rotating in the counterclockwise direction and this fellow here is rotating in a clockwise direction. So they balanced each other out, right? So the drone is not moving. But now the problem here is these two propellers will start lifting because of the lift. It starts lifting the drone this way. And now for your drone to go up vertically, you will need another two sets of propellers here doing the same two things here so that effectively your drone is going up straight. That's why it's called a quadcopter where quad means four, where these four motors will finally balance themselves out. So what you have here is this fellow here going in a counterclockwise direction, this fellow going here in a clockwise direction. Now, because of that, these two motors will start lifting the drone like this. You will see that they start lifting the drone like this. Now, to counter that, you will have to make sure that you have another two sets of propellers here doing exactly the same, where this guy is balancing this fellow out and this guy is balancing him out. That is why you have these two opposite motors who are going in a clockwise direction Whereas these two guys here are going in a 
counterclockwise direction. So here you will see that these four propellers, because of the issue of torque, when I say torque, if you remember, if this propeller is going in a counterclockwise direction, it, it will make the drone go in a clockwise direction. Similarly, this fellow going here in a clockwise direction will make your drone go in an anti-clockwise. This one here going anti-clockwise will again make your drone go in a clockwise direction like this. And this one here going in a clockwise direction will make your drone go in an anti-clockwise. Now all these four guys will balance each other out. And now if you remember from the previous lecture, there was a concept of lift. So each propeller is generating its own lift which causes the drone to finally move up. So another concept that we had seen in the previous lecture was a concept of RPM. And the RPM was basically the faster these motors rotate these propellers. So if you remember, these are the motors and these are the propellers. The faster these motors rotate these propellers, the faster the drone goes up and comes down that you've already seen in the last practical session on the simulator where we saw in the free flight zone, the faster it goes up and down. Now, so to summarize in this lecture, we saw why are the propellers of a drone a opposite to each other and b they rotate in opposite directions as I showed you. This is an important concept and I would like you to try that with our simulator. So what I want you to try here is hover a drone using the simulator and play around with the different thrust values and see how the drone behaves. That's the most important part. Now in the next lecture, I will show you why is it important for us to understand the amount of power or thrust that a motor can generate and why is it important for the flight of the drone. So I hope this lecture was clear in terms of how we understand the configuration of each motor and the reason behind that. One exercise I would encourage you all to do is also look at a helicopter and see what happens to a helicopter if the tail rotor gets damaged, you can search for videos on YouTube. So I would suggest you all to do that. So I hope this lecture was clear, guys. I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.